Well, this is it. Coming to the end of the big trip, going full-time RVing, part-time. We started in southwest Washington and went south to Lake Tahoe, with stops at a winery, a brewery, and a casino. From Lake Tahoe, we started back north and visited a homestead potato farm and camped in the middle of Bend, Oregon for five days before reaching our final stop right here. All right, so we made it to Crooked River Ranch, got parked, got settled in. That's where we are this time. One plus to it is this is the walk to the pool. To the pool and to the Sandbagger Brewery. And so it makes that walk a little. Sandbagger Saloon, it's the golf course oh. club, not a brewery. Not a brewery. We've been to 27 breweries so far, so mm -hmm. I think we've got breweries on our mind. Breweries on our mind. But uh, yeah, Sandbagger Saloon's up here along with the pool. And then if we decide to get married again, we got the chapel over there. 15 days on the road and... Hmm. Get the proposal of marriage. <laughs> and there we are, there's the Sandbagger Saloon. So very easy to walk from our spot and come on over here. Beautiful day. Absolutely this is a definite 180 from what we had last trip. All right, so they have hot dogs and hamburgers and snacks and you know cookies and crackers and chips and all kinds of stuff. So if you you know don't want to cook at your RV site or your cabin, you can just go over here and enjoy it. You just can't bring any food or alcohol into the pool area at all. So you have to eat it on the outside and then you can go in. And same thing with alcohol, you can't drink. But here's the Sandbagger Saloon. You can drink there, have a couple drinks. You I know. did notice uh, there is an adult only swim from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. So adults get the pool for an hour in the morning. But anyway, it was a nice pool. It was clean. They had lifeguards there. So good deal. Now we have just like a five minute walk back to our campsite, make our own food. Yep. All right, see, there it is. And we'll come right out. Three there. grueling minutes later. Now I do want to say um, the pull throughs are great. They're in the middle. The first year we got a pull through is really nice for me. Then there's a circular area down there. Everybody's a little tight, close in. And then there's an area of the canyon, which is great. This here, when we got this last minute, we're kind of close together. We're gonna go and keep it light. We're gonna go with red beers. Uh, micheladas. I think these are more than red beers. These are micheladas. I think they have some seasoning and... Oh yeah, look at the rim. Look at that. Oh my. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's really good, huh? Yeah. It's a spot. Yeah, I like that. So that's though. 10 Barrel Pub Beer. We went to 10 Barrel. Just got back from it yesterday. That's in our last video. Went to 10 Barrel in Bend, Oregon. So we're using their lager and then we got a little michelada mix. Crazy nights, I figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met, you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's break.
go out and show you a little Smith Rock. We just can't uh, stay here and pass up going out there. We just find it one of the most beautiful places in this area. And it's only a 20 minute drive from Crooked River Ranch. Um, so we're gonna head out to Smith Rock for a little bit. And last night, we went and saw a live band at Over the Edge Tap House. How'd you like that last night? Yeah, that was fun. There was a lot of good folks there. We had a good time. We met some people and listened to some good music. It was a five, six, seven piece band and all of them I think were singers. Very good. Very yeah, it was good. fun. We actually ended up dancing a little bit last night. A little dancing. We did a little dancing. Um, so Over the Edge Tap House, great place. Lots of beers and cocktails and stuff to enjoy. A couple good food trucks and uh, they usually have something going on there. Whether it's live music, cornhole, something's always going on up there. And then the other place is the Big Dog Saloon. Uh, that's a good place to stop in and, and, and enjoy as well. And then at our place, uh, the Sandbagger. Uh, the Sandbagger, most Friday nights they do karaoke um, and they also have other things going on there. So anyway, um, so we went and had a good time doing that last night. Now today we're going to go explore a little bit more around the area here. And uh, like I said, everything's pretty close to Crooked River Ranch, so it's kind of nice to stay there. So we made it here to Smith Rock. It's actually shocking, it's mid-June and it's only like 60 degrees today. The high might be 62. because We did do the big hike last year and another one, but this year we're gonna go on the opposite side of the river and show where they teach people how to rock climb. Yeah, hopefully there's a class going on. Or... So rock climbing is very big here and we were able to see a few people doing it today, so. Yeah. Smith Rock State Park is primarily a day use park with limited walk-in tent camping in the bivouac area. Make sure you start your day early as there are miles and miles of trails inside the park, around Smith Rock, up Smith Rock, down to the river, and along the river. Last year we hiked up Smith Rock and enjoyed the gorgeous view from atop. From here you can see miles all around at the breathtaking landscape of beautiful central Oregon. Coming down on the northwest side of Smith Rock, you will have a good look at Monkey Face. This 300 foot tower of rock serves as a beacon to challenge climbers to get to the top. So this is the first year that we decided um, to just go on the opposite side on the trail. So usually we've gone on the main side and uh, did the big trail and a long trail. This year we're on the opposite side so we can kind of see a different angle and it's kind of neat because you can really see everybody up there. I mean, this is the most I've ever seen as far as rock climbing. So we went to the left this year and I wouldn't recommend that if you are coming here for the first time. Do the Misery Ridge Trail, that's the one to do. That's the most challenging, fun one. Get up to Monkey Face, do all that. But we went to the other side this year and it's kind of been fun, different, quiet. We've been alone a lot and we There's get to see- about a half hour. Yeah, and we got to see everybody from across. So it was kind of neat. You get a really good view of everybody climbing. But I still brought you here, even though I'm, even though I'm, um, 
we're not doing the hike because the truth be told, I thought I was young and I tried to get that pic at the, the concert and Ben. <laughs> But I got the pick. <laughs> I got the pick. But I hurt myself. Just, you know, could have cracked a rib, could have broke a rib. If it hurts too much longer, we'll find out. But probably fine. Maybe it's a muscle. Who knows? But anyway, I got out of hiking Missouri Ridge. So it was even more worth it. Your turn to climb out of the canyon. You climbing out of the canyon, buddy? Yeah. Was it a Made good day? It. it was a good little hike. You know, we piddled yeah. around for a couple of hours. Yeah. Maybe did about, I don't know, four or five miles. If that, if Which is miles. really good, because that was not the plan. We didn't know. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the Oregon Film Institute Museum talked about, spoke about movies that were filmed in Oregon. Yep. So, you know, Smith Rock. Homeward Bound and The Incredible Journey. Oh yeah, that was a classic. Yes, Homeward so Bound, yeah. But mainly this one was a big one. I think she got nominated or won for that. I yeah, I think she won, yeah. So that was a good one. Yeah. It's in our Astoria video. Yeah, it is. All the films that were filmed at Oregon Film Museum. Oh, this is a good shot from up here. Yeah. But that's a beautiful, beautiful shot from here. A little chilly. Yeah, it's freezing. I'm freezing. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the Crooked River Ranch RV Park Golf Resort. Look at this. Look this is how our... beautiful it is for golfing out there. Holy smokes. This is usually packed with golfers. I mean, it's at the end of the night now. But I mean, you'll see nothing but golf carts and golfers all over this entire area. It's yeah, absolutely beautiful. It's pretty beautiful. cool. This is just beautiful. Hope this kind of represents and shows it well, but. Yeah. So we experimented, we went for 18 nights. Uh, we kind of tested out what it's like to be a full-timer, got a good idea of it. Um, I think we can do it. I think we'll be ready for it when it's time. Um, I think it's gonna be enjoyable. We do enjoy our home, but it is fun to go on adventures. It's fun to see new places, meet new people, experience new things. So um, that part of it is just a lot of fun than just sitting at home and watching it. Um, so I, I definitely enjoy that aspect of it a great deal, but I do like being a homebody as well. So this is a neat little combination, um, but I could say, yeah, I definitely, I think without a doubt, I'd like to go do it two to four months, go home for a month, maybe do it again for two or four months, yeah. something like that. But um, it's a lot of fun. You get to see a lot more of the country, uh, get to know people more. Um, so it's nice being uh, mobile and you still bring what's important to you. Um, this trip, we didn't bring our puppies, but because um, we thought we'd be hiking and sightseeing a lot, but it will be nice to have them with us because I really wanted them with us on this. So that's, you know, pros and cons. But um, now hit like if you thought any of this was great for you. Uh, if you learned a little bit about, you know, the traveling and going to places and seeing new things and you enjoy watching us, please hit like um, notifications because now we're gonna just go home for only two days and then we're actually going back out and camping for four more um, at a festival that we really enjoy. And then I'm really excited because- Going on a boat. We're taking a break from the RV for a little bit because now we're gonna try something else and do another little test. We're gonna go on our first cruise. We're gonna first go hit the country up north. We're gonna spend a couple days in the country up north. Yeah, Canada. Then we're gonna go on a cruise to Alaska. We've never been to Alaska. We've never been on a cruise. We're gonna give you your opinion what we think about cruising. We're gonna tell you because Ron has protested cruising. So I finally got him to go cruising with me. So we're gonna see what he thinks about a cruise. We're gonna see what we think about mm -hmm. Alaska because we love Hawaii. Yeah, I can't wait. But it, it's, yeah, Yeah, because we love nature. So we're excited for Alaska. So please hit notifications if you wanna see us do some more travel, experience some other things and kind of see because I've heard rumors there are people who just cruise, that they just go cruise and cruise and cruise after yeah, cruise after cruise that's insane that's insane but we'll see how maybe that that's what we'll want to do after we'll we'll make a decision but yeah. so please hit like notifications if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe um and we really appreciate all of our ramblers mm -hmm. we appreciate everybody who enjoys watching us commenting we love it when you make a comment uh, 
let's keep it positive, please. But we love it when you make a comment. We love uh, knowing if you're enjoying this. We've met some really neat friends. People were calling them ramblers, but they're like family. Everybody, when I say rambler, it's like a family member. Uh, so it's really nice. Hi to everybody we met on this mm -hmm. long trip. Hello to everybody there in Mount Shasta and in Bend and Tahoe. And especially uh, uh, Crooked River Ranch. Crooked River Ranch. This has been Quite amazing. Quite the cast of characters. Yes, it's been so much fun. Uh, so make sure you make a comment in there if you're somebody we met on the road. And uh, thank you again for uh, being with us on this journey. And we hope uh, we have great things to show you in the future. All right, Ramblers. Let's get rambling. <laughs> I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joyride. Percy.